Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be drawing a summer illustration of Sylvain and Felix from Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. For the past few videos that I've made, whenever I've been talking about my current art projects, I've been mentioning this one because it's been a work in progress for quite a while. It's, um, I started on it, like, I believe early this summer because um, I think I was actually making it for Sylvain's birthday, and if I remember correctly, it's early June, like either the 4th or 6th or something like that. And, um, yeah, I kind of forgot about it, and I picked it up again every now and then throughout the summer, but we had really bad weather <laughs> this summer. Like, it, it didn't really feel like summer. Like, there wasn't really any summer vibes over here, so I wasn't really motivated to work on this. But I finally got my button gear, and I finished it today, so... Now I can make a video about it. <laughs> so yeah, I made this, or I started on it for Sylvain's birthday. And I was searching for Sylvain reference photos. And I came across this photo on screen now. And I believe it's a summer outfit for Sylvain that was made for that Fire Emblem like mobile game or whatever. Where you like pull for different characters. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I saw that outfit and I was immediately struck with inspiration <laughs> and I was actually sketching in my sketchbook and this is what the sketch looks like here so I made a little a little sketch of Sylvain and then the pose and I guess the composition that I was going for and then a little Felix because <laughs> so I got the idea of Sylvain being like you know his normal kind of smug self and being like the water would feel even better with you in it Felix you know <laughs> and then Felix freaking out like gay panic <laughs> but yeah I, I really like that idea. I mean, I feel like in Fire Emblem Three Houses, Sylvain and Felix is like the ship, you know? It's, like, it's the main ship. It's, it's what most people ship, so it just felt right. And I really like I really like the bromance between these two characters, and I've never actually drawn them together. And I wouldn't say that they're really... I mean, I didn't really draw them together because it's mainly a Sylvain drawing with a little a tiny Felix in the corner, but... Yeah. It's close enough. <laughs> I started with the background and whenever I have like more detailed backgrounds or backgrounds at all really, I like to start with that because um, I feel like I have to um, save the best parts for last because then I'll be more motivated to finish the drawing. That's kind of my tip so that I don't, you know, I don't have halfway finished drawings <laughs> um yeah this is just just a little trick to actually finish my drawings i i always finish the parts that uh i'm either not looking forward to the most or um that i find kind of intimidating i like to do that first so i kind of get over that hurdle and i'm not working on the rest of the drawing and, like being anxious about that i guess <laughs> so yeah that's why I, I normally start with the background also, I've been trying to draw more abs lately, like just more muscles in general, because it's, or, I mainly draw girls, but when I draw guys, I feel like they, I end up drawing very feminine guys. I'm not very good at drawing masculinity, I guess. So I've been, tr I've been trying a little harder on that lately. And so, yeah, here we can see Sylvain's chest and it was not easy, but I don't know, I think it looks kind of decent. I mean, it could have been worse. <laughs> And yeah, I don't think there's really anything else to say about this drawing, so I guess I'll talk a little bit about Fire Emblem. <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses is a game that I got for my birthday. Uh, not this year, but the year before that, I believe. So, you know, last year. <laughs> and uh, I was so obsessed with it when I first got it. Like, I, I pretty much just played continuously until I finished my first playthrough. And um, if you've seen my other... Fire Emblem videos here on YouTube, then you probably already know that um, I chose the Blue Lions the first time around, and um, I think shortly after I finished that, I uh, started up the Golden Deer, and then I kind of took a break for a few months, but I got back into that um, a few weeks ago, I think, and then I finished playing through it, so now I'm just missing the, the Black Eagles, and then I've played the three different story routes i guess <laughs> so yeah i really enjoyed the golden deer story 
because Claude is my favorite character. <laughs> um, but there's just something about the, the Blue Lions. <laughs> it was my first, my first, um, my first house. So sentimentality, plus all my other favorite characters are from the Blue Lions, like Dimitri and Sylvain and Felix and Ash. I love them all. So yeah, I think I think Blue Lions is still my favorite. <laughs> Um, I've started on the Black Eagles, but I um, I kind of took a break after I played like a ton of hours <laughs> when I was finishing up the Golden Deer story. So I think I've put in like 110 hours so far. So yeah, Fire Emblem Three Houses is a really good game. I uh, I really recommend it, especially if you liked um, Persona 5 and stuff like that. It It kind of reminds me of Persona 5 to some degree. I believe I've drawn Sylvain at least once before, possibly twice, but at least once. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's one of my favorite characters, so I'm never gonna say no to drawing him again. Uh, my very favorite is Claude. I just, I love him so much. <laughs> Everything is just so much more fun with Claude around. Um, so yeah, Claude, and then Dimitri, and then Sylvain, and then... Felix and Ash are tied, and then maybe Hilda. Hilda is my favorite girl in the game so far. So, yeah, who are your guys' favorite characters? I'd like to know that. <laughs> I guess I'll talk a little bit about my art projects. Um, there's really only one that I'm working on at the moment, and that's um, uh, my annual Fall Rosalina drawing. And if you've been around for a while, then you know that, or I've only done that t twice so far. I started with it in 2019, I'm pretty sure there's a video out about that on my channel, and then I made one last year as well, and it's that time of the year again, it's just time for my Fall Rosalina drawing, and um, I've finished the line art, and I've yet to start in the coloring, but hopefully I can finish that this week, so that it'll be next week's video, so yeah, that's all I really have planned at the moment, it's a, compared to my, to the drawings I've been working on lately, this is a pretty big project so i'm probably gonna focus on that um so yeah it's been a while since i've drawn on paper or at least it feels like that it probably hasn't been that long but it, it feels like that to me so yeah i think i'm i think i'm gonna do it in sort of like a mixed media style again use some like wash for the background and then you know mainly markers maybe some acrylics at the end i'm really looking forward to that i also just finished my sketchbook that I've been working on since August last year. So you guys can expect um, a sketchbook tour soon. And maybe even watch me, I don't know, set up my new sketchbook. Like do the first page and I've been thinking of maybe painting on the cover or something. Make it a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's, um, that's really all I'm working on right now. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next Sunday.